what's going on with you i'm linda lynn and today i am going to be doing a quick wash day when i say quick i do not mean deep conditioning i deep conditioned last weekend and this weekend i am pressed for time as a mom and also a wife and full-time online college student so i have things i really need to do and my hair will not hold me back from a great sunday so i am going to start off with using the vo5 avocado cream moisturizing shampoo they still have a good bit up in here left and all i'm going to do is wash my hair in the sink and after that i'm going to follow up with using their moisturizing conditioner which is also going to soften my hair up and add a little shine i like it because it has a lot of slip it's also paraben free and silicone free for those of you who are wondering so i'm gonna just turn around so y'all can see this is a five day old hair which doesn't look bad at all and i am just going to go and wash it in the sink and I'll be back once I am finished so we can start detangling my hair and we're going to use a brush you know my big body brush so a girl is going to be on back okay and so we finished shampooing we all finish so this what it's looking like okay my hair feels nice and soft and um on top of that it doesn't feel a strip I know that a lot of um, cheap shampoos normally get a bad rep for literally stripping the hair but um ooh, this particular this particular moisturizing shampoo for me and my hair needs it really does um cleanse well and do what it gotta do I just did two shampoos I did not uh, break my hair down into any sections before shampooing. I just really just try to focus my um, my water nozzle that I'm using from my faucet onto the scalp portion of my hair. So right now you just see me breaking my hair down into whatever little section she won't go in. So baby, my, my hair is very short. So, you know, I, I just try. I try to work with her best I could. Okay. So we got the bag. Miss her with some water, baby. Yum, yum, yum. You know, get her nice and wet. Next, I'm going to take my conditioner. Again, this is the avocado cream conditioner. And I just run that through my hands. And just go to town, bake your baby. Just go to town. I'm not really big on putting conditioner directly on my scalp like that. Sometimes I do it with my uh, mask and my deep conditioners, but it just depends on how I feel with my um how I feel with my my rinse out conditioner. So I just make sure it's just all over. You know, when your hair short, you you just gotta work with it. Baby. You work with it the best you could. And I'm going to try to break this part down a little bit more. Bam. And I'm going to just go in from the bottom all the way up and detangle with my panel brush. This way it saves time. Say hey to the camera, baby. Hey, y'all. Uh. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna be scared. <laughs> I'm not, I just said be scared, baby. Come on, you go. You're Brian. This how them dudes be with they drape with like they waves and stuff. They be like, 
you know, you got to always focus on, the, on, on on brushing them, you know, you got to make sure you're always constantly brushing and blah, 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 like, dude, we see your waves, son, we see your waves, okay. So, yeah, let me go and rinse this on out. I don't really let it sit, you know, um, it depends. I just mainly just let it do its purpose for detangling and that's all so let me go and rinse it on out okay and one two three four shimmy 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 yeah 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 okay all right now so we are you all in the camera today okay okay baby okay yeah my husband y'all okay y'all so this is what it looks like after conditioning I rinse my hair out with cool water I'm about to now section it okay and that's Mr. E y'all this why this is another reason why I cut my hair you know Gotta be able to tend to the family. For styling today, I am using the Design Essentials Almond and Avocado. This is the Curl Enhancing Mousse. And I have been talking about this on my channel. If you missed my last video, it will be linked in the cards up above my head. So if you want to check that thing out, check it out, babe, okay? After this now. So, what I do is I just feel I just go for it as far as just feeling and I take my mousse gotta be generous with the mousse because this is just a one product style and I just go throughout my hair at the back and then I just take my little fingers and I find wherever I want to start at and I start swirling. Now with my twirl method, with my particular twirl method, I do go back and I look at it and all of that. But I feel like if I'm looking at it while I'm doing it, sometimes it don't come out. It come out, it, it, it takes too long to do. So I don't be trying to be in my hair all morning long for the most part. Really try to take my time with it and I'm moving little smaller pieces. And I mean with finger coiling I feel like I really like to use lightweight products. I don't want to use any type of gel that has a strong hole. That's just me even when I had my longer hair and I attempted finger coils it, it just had to be on um, lightweight well my hair had to be lightweight and I had to use lightweight products so all I'm really doing is wetting my hair with my bottle going back in with the mousse making sure the mousse is on those fingertips and finger coiling um, the hair dries really fast with mousse and I love that so I don't have to go in with my diffuser now if I was using like a custard if I was using a custard then I know for sure that um, I might have to go back in but the drying time is just perfect and with this particular mousse it don't leave my hair sticky I don't have any any film and I love to embrace my shrinkage so only way I'm gonna fluff is literally with a pick so <laughs> this really been coming through for me and it has been really helping me to pay more attention to how my hair is behaving in every stage. Whether it is shampooed, it's conditioned, it's um, literally being in a shrunken state from shrinkage. I'm just really um, paying closer attention to what my hair loves. And my hair loves lightweight products now. So we done took a step away from heavier gels and it has benefited me so much in my hair so let me make sure I got it okay 
So yeah, take a little piece, just coil it. So this normally will take close to, I'll say an hour or probably like two and a half hours to air dry on its own because that's how it was last week. So now um, this little curl always come all the way out because I have like a little diva cut. So I can always go back in and kind of like, you know, clip any curls that really want to fall on their own a little bit too long. And I will be going back to my stylist so I can, you know, get everything more perfected. But for the most part, it doesn't look bad when it dries down. My hair normally can last for, ooh, foam on my hands. My hair can normally last close to three to four days before I really do need to shampoo. And with, with refreshing, I refresh my hair every two days. So it depends. If some of these look a little fuzzy tomorrow, I'll refresh it with just a little mousse. Sometimes I spray just a little bit of water with a mister and not this one, or I use this one depending on how I feel. And I'll just go in and just re-twirl them. But here's what the little twirly swirls are honestly drying down to be. And it really does be looking super, super good. Like... Wait till I come on back, y'all gonna see. Alright, it is the end of the day when I was doing my hair. It was around 12 p.m. It is now 5 p.m. Ran out, made some groceries. Um, you know, did that, did this, whatever, whatever. I have to do, you hear me? And here we have it. Um, my hair really looks good. I had a little caterpillar curl and I just separated it. But nevertheless, here we have it. And as the days go by, you know, it does get a little bigger. I even fluff it out a little bit at the root and just go ahead on by my business. I just keep it simple, y'all. Real simple. I don't need to um, do no edges or anything. Like I told y'all, the part kind of just disappears within the style. But, a, hey, if I want to really show that part, I can use some bobby pins or I can just really, you know, swoop the hell over. Girl, the point, she disappeared, she disappeared. Oh well, oh well. But hey, here we have it, baby. And this is, you know, my whole my whole aesthetic right now. I'm loving it. And it is just so convenient for my lifestyle. So I want to thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop that in the comment box below because I would love to talk to you. I am signing on out of this piece now. I'm also going to ship me my way on out of this thing. Doing like a, doing a little limbo. I'm a limbo shimmy on out of here. But yeah, this this is just me, baby. Simple, easy peasy. This also has a light to medium hole. Well, I don't say a medium hole, but um, it definitely gets me throughout um three or four days. For sure, for sure. So yeah. Until the next video. Bye.